Hi guys, it's me, Alana Grace Blasia, and I'm coming at you this week with my positive video of the week. So you guys know, like, um, a couple weeks ago, I took some time out for myself, and then I redid my bathroom shower, and um, I was decluttering the house. And so today I'm giving y'all like a reveal of my cute little boho chic cabin in the woods. And I want y'all to see the results. Of course, there's like a little projects here and there that aren't done. Cause you know, I design everything and I design like my furniture and you know, so I have like a couple pieces that I still am gonna work on and I'll vlog about it and I'll do tutorials online, but um, I just want to tell you guys how great it feels to have taken some time to finish some of my concepts, especially in my own house. And I know you guys heard of Marie Kondo, um, the magic of decluttering. And let me tell you, like, I feel amazing. Like, I have so many other creative ideas that you know i have the space mentally and emotionally and spiritually to complete and to get started on and i just you know i know depression is real anxiety is real you know and i talk about that especially for mental health awareness month you know i i share all the time about my anxiety my depression my recovery and all that stuff and just um, my journey that I've, you know, been through and um, boundaries and, you know, everything. Um, as you guys know, living in a boho chic cabin, it's like a very creative space and uh, a rustic space. And it took me a long time to you know, design some of these things, but it was also like um, very therapeutic and kind of like a form of meditation for me, you know. Um, there was a time where I was totally sober when I went through sobriety and that's when I first started designing furniture and painting and doing art. And um, that's why I decided to carry it through to my nonprofit. And, um, I just think that like sharing about the process of decluttering, like it was so hard for me. But with having ADHD, you know, it's like either you're uber focused on something or like if you don't really want to do it, you can procrastinate deeply. And, you know, I just got tired of letting procrastination stop me from my fullest potential. I don't know, I'm just so excited. Like these last couple weeks, I really, really was MIA. So I really, you know, thank all my good friends for giving me the space and the time and the understanding that I needed to take out for myself. Now I have the space and energy to get back to work, to um, get back creative. I have like more music to write i have you know all this other stuff and it's just like it triggered my anxiety but it also healed my anxiety like getting my space together and completing some of these ideas and concepts that just were half done really put me in a really good space and i'm excited to share with y'all like i said it's not all the way finished but it's finished enough for me to share okay here you go